Hi, I'm Steven, founder of Free Yoga, and today we're going to do a well-rounded 30-minute class. So let's go ahead and get started in a comfortable cross-legged position toward the front of our mats. Allow the eyes to softly shut, sitting up nice and tall, relax the shoulders down away from the ears, softly closing the eyes, and start to let go of all of your drama, your worries, your responsibilities, your stories, all of the things that are keeping you from being here right now. You've dedicated this next 30 minutes to yourself and you are worth your own attention. All of those things will be waiting for you, I promise. So see if you can bring all of that attention just into your breath. Take a big inhale in, reaching the crown of the head high. Slowly exhaling it out, let the shoulders relax down away from the ears. Inhaling in, sitting up tall, letting the belly spill out over your shins. And then exhale slowly out the nose. Inhale in deeply, really filling the belly up down below the ribs, down into the diaphragm. And then slowly exhaling it out, pushing your belly button back toward your spine, pushing out all that old stale air. Inhale the arms out to the side, all the way up into the sky, feeling that length, hold the breath at the top, bring the palms together and exhale them down in between the eyes to the third eye. May your practice cultivate and and then as you exhale, bring the right arm on top of the left, bend at the elbows, either placing the palms back against each other, or see if you can come into the full bind. Inhale, reach the fingertips up, relax the shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale, reach the crown of the head high, reach the fingers up. Exhale, see if you can get those shoulders just a little farther away from your ears. Inhaling in deeply. Exhale, let the shoulder blades get a little farther away from your spinal cord. Inhaling in deeply, feeling that length. And then exhale, pushing your hands back behind you. Inhale, bringing the palms forward. Exhale, let the left arm come on top of the right, bending the elbows, back to the palms or full bind. Inhaling and in, reaching the fingertips as high as you can. Exhale, relaxing the shoulders down away from your ears. Inhaling in, feeling that length, feeling the shoulder blades get farther away from each other. Exhale, relaxing into it. Inhaling in, deeply feeling that length. And exhale and release. Bring both your knees up into your chest and lightly float your toes up off the earth. Shine the heart up, don't collapse in, and breathe. Bringing the shins parallel to the earth, hands to the backs of the knees, start to flex and point the toes. And then start to release the hands, reaching down for the toes, so you can straighten the legs. Or just keep the shins parallel to the earth. Take a big inhale in, point the toes. Exhale, float down off the earth just a few inches. Inhale, coming back up to Navasana. Exhale, down, recline. Inhale up. Exhale, down. Inhale up. Exhale, down. Inhale up one more time. Bring the palms together, reaching down for the toes. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, take the hands over to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale. Inhale to center. Bring the knees into your chest. Send them back behind you. Roll up over your knees and come into tabletop. Push down with the tops of your feet, spreading your fingers, pushing the whole palm down into the earth. Relax the shoulders down. Take an inhale in. Drop the belly. Lift the chin. Feel that release of that core work. And then exhale, reverse the motion, really pushing down with the tops of the feet. Inhale, dropping the belly, inhaling in as much as you can, inhaling in just a little more in through the mouth. And then exhale slowly out the nose, pushing the center of the back as high as you can, releasing the shoulder blades away from each other. Inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, reverse. Inhale one more time. 
time as you exhale, tuck your toes, send the hips up and back and come into downward facing dog. Bend one knee and then the other. Spreading the whole hand, pushing down, especially with the thumb and index finger. Relaxing your heart down towards your toes. Then as you're ready, pushing the entirety of your legs back behind you. On an inhale, rolling forward to plank. Exhale down to chaturanga. Get the shoulders way out over the fingertips. Inhale through and up to your back bend of choice. And then exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, rolling forward to plank. Exhale down to chaturanga. Inhale through and up. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. Relax the shoulders down. Exhale down to chaturanga. Try and get the wrists right underneath the elbows. Inhale through and up. And then exhale back, downward facing dog. Take a few deep breaths. Finding that stability, that center in your downward facing dog. Feeling the balance between your entire body being active and your entire body resting. Take a big inhale in. As you exhale, bring your knees down toward the earth. Keep the torso right where it is. Take a few deep breaths, still trying to sink your heart down towards your knees. Breathing deep. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales, and then straighten your legs. Inhale, coming up to the balls of your feet, turn your gaze forward, step or float to the front of your mat. And then exhale down in a nice forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, tuck the chin, feeling the length. Exhale, releasing the fingers down a little deeper. Heel toe your feet together. Letting the head be heavy, feeling the length in between each one of your vertebra. And then on an inhale, inhale yourself up to Utkatasana chair pose, bending in your knees, reaching the fingers up into the sky. Try not to stick the pelvis out or tuck it under, but finding a nice neutral spot. Trying to get your biceps back behind your ears. Breathing all the way through to the fingertips. Take one more big inhale in. Exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Take the right elbow on the outside of the left thigh. Pushing down with that left hand. Bend just a little more into the knees. Maybe reaching the right fingertips down and the left fingertips up. Breathing deep wherever you are. Down into that tight, twisted diaphragm. One more inhale in. And then exhale, straighten the legs, releasing down. Inhale, halfway up, bringing the hands to your shins, feeling that length. And then exhale, release just a little deeper. On an inhale, bend into your knees, reach the fingers up into the sky. Pushing your knees, your ankles, your heels, your toes all toward each other. Breathing all the way up through to your fingertips. One more big inhale in. Exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Take the left elbow on the outside of the right thigh. Push down with the right hand to open the heart up into the sky. Maybe just staying here. We're reaching the left fingertips down and the right fingertips up. Trying not to let that left knee fall forward, but keeping it parallel with the right. Breathing deep down into that tight, twisted diaphragm. Take one more big inhale in. And exhale, release. Relaxing down toward the earth. Take an inhale in, bring the hands to your shins, feeling that length. Exhale, place your hands down, stepping back to plank. Take a big inhale in plank. Exhale down to Chaturanga. Get the shoulders way out over the fingertips. Inhale through and up. Do your back bend of choice. Relax the shoulders down. 
Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale that right heel up into the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale that heel up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale the right heel up. Exhale, knee to nose, and then softly place the right foot down near the right hand. Be sure that the right heel is lined up with the right hip, left heel with the left hip. Inhale, reach your arms straight out in front of you. Exhale, keep your chest down on the thigh. And inhale yourself up for crescent pose. Tuck the pelvis underneath you. Put a little bend in that back knee if you need to. And then push that left heel back behind you as you pull the right heel back towards you to engage underneath the right thigh. Take the round arch out of the spine by engaging your core. Relax the shoulders down and then reach the fingertips all the way up into the sky. Still breathing deep, finding those same long inhales and long exhales. One more big inhale in. Exhale, bring the left hand down to the inside of the right foot, right fingers up into the sky. Breathing deep, trying to tuck that right hip underneath you so it's not sticking out to the side. Be sure that the left heel is heading straight up into the sky reaching back behind you and still pulling that right heel back towards you. Still breathing deep down into your diaphragm, down below your ribs. One more big inhale in. And exhale, take that right hand down on the outside of the right foot. Place the left heel down. Inhale, cartwheel the arms and open up into warrior two. Still pulling that right heel back towards you. Try and tuck the right hip underneath you but don't let the right knee collapse into the left side, pushing down with the outside of the left foot, relaxing the shoulders down, not reaching forward or back, and breathing through to the fingertips. Inhale, turn that right palm up, send it back, make your warrior peaceful. As much as you bend with the right knee, reach with the right fingers, breathing deep. One more big inhale in, and exhale, bring that right elbow down to the right thigh. Left fingers up over your ear. Extended side angle. Breathing deep. Maybe bringing that right hand down. Left fingers up into the sky, really pushing out on that right knee so it doesn't collapse into the left. Maybe coming into the full bind if that's in your practice. But if you can't see the sky, and open up that left shoulder and come back just a little bit. Breathing deep. One more big inhale in. Exhale, place that left hand down. Send the right foot back to meet the left. Take a big inhale in. Exhale down to Chaturanga. Inhale through and up to your back bend of choice. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale that left heel up and back. Exhale knee to nose. Inhale that heel up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, that heel up. Exhale, knee to nose. Softly place the left foot down near the left hand. Still reaching that right heel back behind you. Check your alignment. Inhale, the arms out in front of you. Exhale, keep your chest down. Inhale up, crescent pose. Tucking the pelvis underneath you, reaching that right heel back, pulling the left heel back towards you, engaging the core, relax the shoulders down. Breathe through to the fingertips. Finding that stability and that strength. Finding that one spot at which to gaze. Feeling your own strength. Feeling your own breath. Breathing deep. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. And know that yoga is not about trying hard. It's about trying easy. See if you can try easy right now as you breathe a little deeper. Bend a little more into that front knee. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, bring that right hand down to the inside of the left foot. Left fingers up into the sky. Try to not let that left hip stick out to the side. Try to tuck it underneath you. Reaching the right heel straight up into the sky. Spreading the fingers on the right hand. And the left hand kissing the shoulder blades back behind you. Breathing down into your diaphragm, below your ribs. 
Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. One more big inhale in. As you exhale, place that left hand down the outside of the left foot. Place the right heel down. Inhale, cartwheel the arms up into warrior two. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales, feeling your strength, not letting that left knee collapse in, not letting your breath come short and shallow, but long and deep. As your body starts to communicate with you, see if you can find a little deeper breath. Find one more thought to let go, one more muscle to release. Maybe it's a face muscle, a toe muscle. Inhale, turn that left palm up, send it back. Make your warrior peaceful. See if you can not put so much weight in that right hand, feeling the length in the left side of the body. With every breath, reaching the left fingers a little higher. With every exhale, bending just a little deeper into that front knee. One more big inhale in. Exhale, bring the left elbow down to the left thigh. Right fingers up over your ear, feeling that length, gazing up toward the sky. Breathing deep, bringing that left hand down to the earth if you'd like. That right thigh is pointing down to the earth. And think about bringing that right heel in just a little bit so it starts to turn up toward the sky. Coming into the bind if that's in your practice. Binding those same long inhales and long exhales. Being kind and patient with yourself. Breathing deep. Open that right shoulder just a little more. Bend just a little more into that front knee. One more big inhale in. And then exhale. Place the hands down. Send that left foot back to meet the right. Take a big inhale in and plank. Exhale down to Chaturanga. Inhale through and up to your back bend of choice. Exhale back to child pose. Let your knees be nice and wide. Send the hips down. Take a few deep, well-deserved breaths. Relaxing the forehead down on the earth. Relaxing your hips down towards your heels. Releasing the low back. <sighs> Know that you are exactly where you are supposed to be. No judgments. No desires to be perfect. Just be exactly where you are. And the change and the progress will come. As you're ready, inhale yourself up through tabletop. Tuck your toes, thin the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale that right heel up and back. Exhale knee to nose. Inhale that heel up. Exhale right knee to left elbow. Inhale that heel up. Exhale right knee to right elbow. Softly place the right foot down near the right hand. Place that left heel down. Inhale, cartwheel the arms open to warrior two. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend a little deeper. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, reach with those right fingertips as far as you can, down toward the shin, peace grip, earth. Reaching the left fingertips up. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Tucking that right hip underneath you, pulling it back toward the left heel. If you're feeling this in your obliques, I want you to come up just a little bit on that right leg so you can feel it more in the opening in the hamstring. Reaching the left fingertips up. Gazing up toward that left thumb if you can. Breathing deep. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. Be kind and patient with yourself. Staying here, if you'd like, you can reach that left hand down toward the earth. Or take the place of the right. So you reach the right fingers up into the sky. Parvita Trikonasana. Twisting triangle, opening up the outside of that right hip and right leg, breathing deep, still trying to kiss your shoulder blades back behind you, one more big inhale in, and as you exhale, come in between your legs, the right toes come parallel to the left, relaxing down, let your head be heavy, 
Interlace your hands behind your back. Start to let your pinkies come down toward the earth, bringing your shoulder blades toward each other, releasing the neck and the upper back. Try and transfer your weight slightly toward the balls of your feet and breathe deep. Keeping your hands as they are, inhale yourself up to standing. Bring your heels in toward each other. Bend down into your knees. Interlace your hands behind your neck. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, right elbow down to right knee. Inhale to center. Exhale, left elbow down. Inhale to center. Exhale, left right elbow down. Reach the right fingertips down, left fingertips up. Breathing deep. Inhale, coming up to center. Interlace the hands again behind your head. Inhale in. Exhale, left elbow down. Inhale to center. Exhale, right elbow down. Inhale through center. Exhale, left. Reach the left fingertips, right fingertips up. Breathing deep. Inhale, coming back through center. Exhale it out. Inhale that right heel up. Exhale it down. Inhale the left heel up. Exhale it down. Inhale both heels up. Breathing deep. Just a few more breaths. And as you exhale, straighten the legs, relaxing down. Start to walk over toward the right toes, turning them out, bending into that front knee. And then inhale yourself up for warrior three, finding that one spot at which to gaze, breathing deep. Hands at heart center, out in front of you, not to the sides. Whatever works for you. Trying to get the chest and that left heel a little higher up into the sky. And then bend into that supporting knee. Send that foot all the way back. Place the hands down. Send the right foot back to meet the left. Take a big inhale in and plank. Exhale down to Chaturanga. Inhale through and up. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale that left heel up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale that heel up. Exhale, knee over to the right elbow. Inhale that left heel up. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. And then softly place the left foot down near the left hand. Place the right heel down. Inhale yourself up for warrior two. Exhale it out, bend a little deeper. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, reach with the fingers down toward the chin, peace grip, earth. Breathing deep, tucking that left hip underneath you. Straightening that left leg, pushing down with the outside of the right foot, finding those same. Long inhales and long exhales. Any thoughts that come in, see if you can find a little deeper breath. Find one more spot to Either strengthen or let go. Opening up the hips, the hamstrings. Being kind and patient with yourself. Slowly let the right hand take the place of the left, if you would like. And Parvita Trikonasana. Gazing up toward that left thumb, if you can. Relaxing the shoulders down. Kissing the shoulder blades back behind you. Breathing deep. One more big inhale in. And then exhale, coming between your legs. Left toes parallel to the right. Relaxing down toward the earth. If you have a sheer sasana practice, feel free to come into headstand now. Otherwise, start to walk over toward that right ankle. If you can grab the right ankle with the left hand, Reach the right arm through toward that left thigh to pull yourself in for the twist. Otherwise, just keep reaching over toward the right toes. Breathing deep wherever you are. If you're reaching toward the right, make your way over to the left. And again, if you can grab the outside of the left ankle with the right hand, reach the left hand through and for the top of that right thigh. If you've come into Shir Sasana, make your way back. 
to pause her Rita Padatanasana. And then everyone walk over toward the left toes, turn the left toes out, bend into that left knee, coming up to the ball of the right foot, take the weight forward and up into warrior three. Finding that one spot at which to gaze, breathing deep, not thinking about your foot down on the earth, but the right heel in your chest up into the sky. The deeper breath you find, the more balance you will find. And don't worry if you come out of it. We all come out of balance all the time in life. What's important is how long it takes for us to try to come back. And then bend into that front knee. Send that right foot all the way back. Left foot back to meet the right. Big inhale in and plank. Exhale down to chaturanga. Inhale through and up. And then exhale back to child's pose. A few deep breaths. Relaxing and releasing all of that work. And if you've been pushing yourself, ask yourself, why am I pushing myself? Now as we start to cool down, some thoughts may start to come in. See if you can just release them and let them go. Slowly coming up through tabletop, tuck your toes and come into plank. Come down to your forearms, interlace your fingers except for the pinkies, place the pinkies down on the earth, reach your heels back behind you, shoulders down away from your ears, engaging your core, breathing deep. Feeling that length, reach the crown of the head away. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. Be sure you don't have a round or an arch in the spine. Find that center. Engaging the core. Breathing deep. When you just can't possibly do it anymore, holding this forearm plank, breathe a little deeper first. Reach the heels back behind you, relax the shoulders down, reach the crown of the head out and away. And then just roll onto your back. Bring your knees up into your chest. Then place the soles of your feet down, hip distance apart. Near to your sit bones. Push yourself up for bridge to release the core or Urdhva Dhanurasana. Place the hands underneath the shoulders and push yourself up. Try to not let the knees flail out to the side. Bring them back toward each other. Breathing deep. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales, releasing the front of the body. One more big inhale in. And then exhale, release down. One vertebra at a time. If you're inverting today, go ahead and send yourself back for plow. Pause your feet down toward the earth. If you're not inverting today, take that right ankle on top of the left knee, flex the right toes, and pull the left knee in towards you in a nice reclined pigeon. For those of you in plow, See if you can walk your feet towards you and walk your feet away. Notice how that changes the stretch. And then if you'd like, make your way up for shoulder stand. Hands as high up on the, your back as you can get them. Balls of your feet up into the sky. For those of you in reclined pigeon, be sure to grab the other side, flexing the left toes on top of the right knee, pulling the right knee in towards you. You can push out on that left knee if you would like with the left hand, opening up the hip a little more. For those of you that are in shoulder stand, find your way back through plow, balancing your knees on your forehead, death man's pose, rolling down one vertebra at a time. And then everyone, come in to happy baby. Pulling your knees 
down to the outsides of your armpits, releasing and relaxing, and then hugging that right knee up into your chest. Let the left leg straighten out onto the earth. Holding onto the right knee with the left hand, right arm out to the side, pull it over the body, coming into a nice final spinal twist. If you'd like, you can bend that left knee, reaching for the top of the left foot, pulling it in, just to find a little more space in this last spinal twist before Shavasana. Still breathing deep. Inhale, coming back through center, holding onto that left knee. Let the right leg straighten out. Pull the left knee over the body with the right hand. Left arm fall out. Bend that right knee if you'd like. I know oftentimes before Shavasana, I start to think about my life and plan my Shavasana and what I want to be thinking about. But see if you can just spend this one minute for yourself. Let all those thoughts, all the worries about life, let them all know you'll be with them in just a minute. And let the work that you've done for these past 30 minutes to integrate into your body. Bringing your knees back through center. And then straightening both legs out onto the earth. For our final Shavasana, let your toes fall away from each other. Tuck one shoulder blade and then the other facing the palms up, closing the eyes, finding those same long inhales and long exhales. Feel the weight of your bones, the weight of your muscles, the weight of every cell in your body, heavy, sinking down, supported by the earth underneath you. Allow yourself just to breathe. Allow yourself just to be. Slowly allow your awareness to come back to your breath and just notice how you're breathing. Run your thumbs over your fingertips, roll your wrists and ankles, stretch your arms up above you like you're waking up from the best dream, rolling onto one side or the other, keeping the eyes shut. Find your way back to that same comfortable cross-legged position in which we started class. Sitting up tall, breathing deep. Notice if you're sitting a little easier, if your breath is coming a little calmer, and if your thoughts seem just a little bit further apart. Inhale the arms out to the 